John Ossoff and uh, Raphael Warnock uh, have both taken the leads and have won the elections in Georgia, the runoff elections. One of them is a special election and one of them is a regular election. So John Ossoff will be in office for six years and Raphael Warnock will have to run again in two years. Um, but other than that, I mean, that's fantastic news, right? Yeah. Um, let me branch over. What do you, how do you, how do you feel about it while I dig up some um, information? I'm good. I'm good. Hold on. I, there you go. You got it. Um, yeah, I'm I'm happy about it. You know, like I'm maybe we'll actually have some um, changes going on where um, people are getting because they said they're gonna give us some payments of the what is it the two thousand dollars now and all this other stuff. We'll see what happens. You know, talk is cheap, right? But at the end of the day, at least I I trust the Democrats at the at the end uh, more than I do. Um, the Republicans, you know, giving something uh, to us regarding, um, you know, pay stimulus payments and and changes uh, with what's going on or whatever. You know what I mean? So I, I'm be I'm happy. I, I don't want the Republicans running the Senate the way they have. They're very uh, obstructionist. You know, they obstruct a lot of stuff. So I'm happy about that. You know, but you know, I'm not a big fan I'm of Biden either. But you know, at the same time, I trust Biden more than Trump. So you know, it's the lesser of two evils, right? <laughs> I mean, yes, it's a, it's very important that we secure the Senate majority, or I believe it's a yeah, it's a split majority because it's a 50-50 uh, split of the mm -hmm. the actual Senate, and then the one vote from Kamala Harris mm -hmm. makes it 51. But this actually just makes it so that yes, most likely they're going to have to do bipartisan legislation, which I don't know if is a bad or good or a bad thing at this point. I think that the the wording is terrible. Like, we shouldn't be capitulating to them at all at this point. But yep. Yep. if we're gonna bring people to the table, it is generally a good thing. Yep. Um, and I mean, I'm just more empowered by the fact that Warnock is the first black senator uh, from Georgia. I mean, yeah. we got to talk about the small things sometimes, like. It's not like we won a huge victory, but we won a victory for common sense. And the people that they were running against, Loeffler and Purdue, were both some of the most entrenched, like corporate politicians for the Republican Party. They so did some. We can just um, they, they did some like uh, crooked stuff with the stocks too, right? They, they, from what I heard, they they um, withdrew money or did something with the stocks, right? Um, most likely Loeffler uh, had insider information insider. and most yep. likely, yeah, I mean, we will see if this will legally go down, but we know that she had some information and she sold off some stock, but coincidence, some, right? of that is legal. <laughs> some of that is legal, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah, I think some of that's a, you know, big coincidence that just seems like real suspect, right? <laughs> At the end of the day, it's like, hmm. You know, I, I think I would have probably done the same thing, God forbid. I mean, I, I don't have, like, that insider trading type of deal. But, you know, if I can make a little bit of money and not, you know, damage my pockets at the end of the day, and I, I'm not saying I would necessarily think that's ethical, but, you know, I can kind of understand why they would do it, you know what I mean? But they're not supposed to, so they deserve to, I guess, be punished for it. Not necessarily punished, but, you know, they shouldn't be, uh, what is it, um, in politics, if that's the case, let's put it that way. You know, if that's what's going on with them, if they're doing some shady stuff like that. But you know, it is what it is. Me and them are different people, right? <laughs> I mean, just to, yes, they're completely different people. Think about it this way too: How much do you think was spent on the campaign on uh, these two campaigns? I, I heard it was half a billion, yeah. right? Wasn't it a half a billion or something like? Yeah. yeah. Half billion dollars so we're not even talking about money that we know about like we're talking about money that is oh mischievous raccoon it says hello um, hello <laughs> yeah. um, so basically we're talking about money that we don't even understand in a way you know it's it's money that they're almost throwing away to get to the largest constituents of audience as possible yep yeah. That's stimulus money that could have been our money, right? <laughs> Think about how much money was spent for that, man. Like, unbelievable, man. Like, that's like almost like half of what um they spent for the stimulus, right? 900, 900 million or 900 billion, I mean, or whatever it is. 
what is it half a billion right i'm bugging i'm yeah. I'm, I'm off yeah i'm way off dollars. i'm yeah, way off million <laughs> i am way off i'm sorry for some reason i thought it was um yeah that's way off <laughs> no i mean i guess what we should do what we should definitely do is play um warnock's acceptance speech okay so i believe that's a video right? one gotcha Thank you so very much. I come before you tonight as a proud American and as a son of Georgia. My roots are planted deeply in Georgia soil. A child who grew up in the Caton Homes housing projects of Savannah, Georgia. Number 11 out of 12 children. A proud graduate of Morehouse College and the pastor of Ebenezer Baptist Church, the spiritual home of Martin Luther King Jr. and Congressman John Lewis. A son of my late father, who was a pastor, a veteran, and a small businessman. And my mother, who as a teenager growing up in Waycross, Georgia, used to pick somebody else's cotton. But the other day, because this is America, the 82-year-old hands that used to pick somebody else's cotton went to the polls and picked her youngest son to be a United States senator. So I come before you tonight as a man who knows that the improbable journey that led me to this place in this historic moment in America could only happen here. We were told that we couldn't win this election. But tonight, we prove that with hope, hard work, and the people by our side, anything is possible. May my story be an inspiration to some young person who is trying to grasp and grab hold of the American dream. And so, Georgia, I am honored by the faith that you have shown in me. So the reason that I showed the whole thing there was that I do want people to grab a little bit of uh, hope from this. Um, when you really think about it, this is what they're irate about it when they went to DC. They're, they're mad because not, yes, they probably felt like this when Warnock probably won, but to be more specific, they feel this way when we come up and protest ourselves as Black Lives Matter movements, as Occupy, as whatever you need to be, uh, and socialist movements. Um, that's what they're upset about. They they're literally went to DC and they're upset that we're even speaking our voices. So keep doing it. Just keep doing yep. it. Yep. That's all I can say. Like he Warnock is just a great example that like yeah, I mean, he's a preacher. He is a little bit cleaner cut than we are, but mm -hmm. it matters. Just keep putting up your voice. Yep. Very proud day, you know, for that. I'm uh, excited to see, like, you know, a lot of these transitions happening where, um, you know, it's going back to dem democratic control. Um, and hopefully, you know, like I said, it'll bring change for everybody, right? Um, time will tell. Uh, you know, it might go back to a lot of uh, do nothing um, stuff, but you know, I'm hoping that you know this is going to be better for everybody, and especially like immigrants, because uh, like with Trump and everything, um, there were a lot of uh, things going negatively with with DACA and and you know the immigrants, and you know, hopefully people, you know, they'll start gaining their hearts back. You know, like things will be start start being more positive and. People be more respectful to each, each other. You know, I'm still a little concerned about these um, lingering Trump uh, cult people or whatever that's around. But at the end of the day, uh, at least you know we'll have better people governing. You know, the country, right? You know, running the country. So, you know, that's what makes me happy. 